we'll keep it rolling. To the East Coast we go. So after ending the regular season with four straight victories, including one against Cleveland, the Nets are favored to take the rematch in tonight's playing game as the Nets look to earn their way into a first-round playoff matchup against the second-seeded Celtics. Would be very helpful is having Ben Simmons back. Here's Steve Nash on Simmons potentially playing. I think the bottom line is we would be adding a, a substantial talent to our team, and so we, we we really welcome him in a number of ways. He fits and he helps in a lot of ways that we're we're, we're in need of help, and so we would we would welcome that challenge of, of trying to incorporate him in a, in, a, in a playoff situation where he has no history with our team, no minutes on the floor with his teammates, and, and see how we can forge that understanding as quickly as possible. So assuming the Nets get out of the playing tournament, they would face either the one or two seed. So I'll ask you this, Tim. Would the Nets, would it be a bigger challenge for them to face the Heat or the Celtics? I think it'd be a bigger challenge for the, who would it be a bigger challenge for the Nets for? If yeah. they, for me, if they played the Boston Celtics, I think that's more difficult for Brooklyn. That's who they're going to play because they're going to win tonight. Okay. They're going to win tonight. They're going to beat Cleveland at home, and then they're going to get to Boston Celtics. This is the team that's been the best defensive team in the league for two months. They can come up with something against Ke uh, Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving, I think, that's going to force other guys to have to do something. And, look, they're special talents. They're flamethrowers. You can't put anything against them. And the most important thing about those two players is they love – this environment. They have proven that they can run to the light. They are not going to shrink on this stage. So there's no doubt they're capable of being good enough offensively to overcome their defensive issues. But I do think with what Boston is doing right now, with Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown playing better together than they have at any point since they have been teammates, they seem to have finally figured out how to complement each other to go with a top-shelf defensive team coming into it. I think that's more of a challenge for Kevin Durant and Kyrie Irving than it would be even against the Heat. Because I think the Heat, there's something with them that just didn't jive with me at the end of the year. I just didn't see a team, to me, that was clicking. I thought when they added the guys they added, Kyle Lauer, P.J. Tucker, I thought this could be the best defensive team in the NBA night in, night out. And sometimes they are. Problem is, they also go through stretches where they have issues putting the ball in the basket. And if you go into that situation against the Brooklyn Nets, I think that could be a problem for the Miami Heat. So I think... Bo Brooklyn wins tonight, they get the Celtics, and I think the Boston Celtics ultimately are going to win that series. The Boston Celtics, to me, are very, very similar to the Brooklyn Nets in this one way. Either of them could come out of the East. Either of them could be home in the first round, and that's how it's going to end up being, basically. That's what we're talking about here. And I happen to know on good authority, don't worry about how I know. You have some people... Um, within the Boston Celtics organization that they don't like the fact that they're going to end up playing, playing, playing the Brooklyn Nets. They wish they would have lost so they would have had somebody else. But give Udoka credit. Remember, he's a first-time coach. And I said this to somebody the other day. If you're an experienced coach and you play a numbers game or you play a competitive game in terms of this opponent would be better suited for us than the other opponent, fine. But when you are a first-year head coach, the most important thing to do is establish culture. And Udoka is saying, we don't give a damn who we going up against. We going to be ready. This is what it's about. We either ready for the big dance or we not. We ain't bound to nobody, and we ain't looking for shortcuts, and we're not looking for any way out. And I respect the hell out of that because I think that's the kind of thing that will propel Boston. Now, I would be far more confident in the Boston Celtics if Robin Williams was healthy, all right? Um, but he's not. And so we don't know what his status is. It doesn't look good. I don't know what to say about that. If he's in the lineup, I got more confidence in Boston. With him out of the lineup, I could still see Brooklyn finding a way to pull out this series. With all of that being said, I do believe Boston is the bigger challenge to the Brooklyn Nets. And it's because of how they play defense collectively. Now, some people say Miami, and I get Miami. They got a lot of weapons. The difference between Miami and Boston, I view Boston as having two closers. I see Miami having a bunch of dudes who can close, but no definitive closer. And we know Brooklyn's got two closers. And so when I look at it from that perspective, and then I take into account how tenacious Boston's defense has been, I, I give Boston a better shot against Brooklyn than Miami in a first-round series. Maybe I'd feel differently in the second round or a conference finals, but for a first-round playoff series, I think Boston would be a bigger threat.
I think we all in somewhat of agreement there. I look at Boston as very similar to the Nets. They mirror each other. They got two closers, like you said, Stephen A. The one thing that Boston has is a relentless defense that is not in Brooklyn. Brooklyn doesn't have Ben Simmons, which was supposed to be the defensive stopper for them. I think that is, in terms of the Achilles heel, that will be the Achilles heel. And you switch to Miami, you talk about Miami's defense been up and down, not as well as we thought they will have been throughout the course of the season, but they can't score nearly as well as the Nets or the Celtics, for that matter. So in the end, the biggest challenge certainly would be Boston. Tatum is reckless right now, and he's just outstanding, just doing everything you thought he was capable of doing when he got drafted from Duke. But then on the other side, Brown is certainly living up to his end of the bargain because we certainly thought at the beginning of the season that those two wouldn't be able to coexist long term, but they got it mm -hmm. together, and that's why they probably are going to see the Nets. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.